the Crow people see God, as all, a lot of cultures, cultures do. We see God and we refer to him as Ijikpalia. Ijikpalia means the one who worked first, our first worker. And so our goal as people is to try to access God. When God created the earth and all people in it, he instilled in them a piece of God, and we call that Bachba. The Salish people call it Sumesh. So how do we access this? How do we find it? It's our goal as people to, to find it and look for it. It's everywhere all the time. It's in, in anything. It's right now. And so the Crow people say to Bilishisan, to, to go without water. There's many ways that a person can do this, can access God. For the Crow people, it is this. We find a place secluded from everybody else. We go without water for four days, without food for four days, without shelter for four days, without convenience of companionship or the social aspect of life. We're alone in nature and God's creation. We're where Bachba is around us all. So the crow people do this. We build a bed of rocks. We lay some boughs on the ground. We might bring something to pray with, maybe a blanket. In the old time days, they would bring a buffalo robe. Now we use bed rolls or whatever. Our nice Ozark Trail bed roll. <laughs> <laughs> so the crow people, we, we lay there and we wait. We try to find God either within ourselves or in our surroundings. Sometimes God reveals himself to us in a bear or in the stars or in a cloud, anything, because God's everywhere all the time. I'm a descendant of a man named Gozahed. In, the, in Crow, we say Basago. Basago many years fasted in a place just north of, of Wyoming called Shijihisha. He went there for four days, and on the last day, he noticed something coming to him, flying at him, and it would fall as it came to him. He just waited there for it. He thought it was real. He thought it was fake. All these thoughts went through his head. Should I leave now or should I just stare at this thing? As it came to him, it would fall to one side, fall to the other side. And he thought it was a dragonfly at first. And as he reached out to grab it, he noticed it was far out in the distance. It was coming over the mountains. It was crossing the streams and lakes and rivers. As it came to him, it, it spoke to him. It was a snake with wings. As he laid there in that bed of rocks, and he said, well, what is this? So the snake said to him, take my body, use it for you and your people, how you see fit. He had dreams about it. And in these dreams, he was revealed to him the rules on how to live his life. And we still do that today. He was told not to eat kidneys, that his rifle would never be accurate. Not to eat eggs. I break that one. As he laid in the bed of rocks, and he examined this, and he kind of reflected on it. He said, how should I use this? And it was revealed to him as he went back to the community and ate again. Throughout time, he used his medicine, as we call it, Bachba. And they'd say his medicine was well known. He would use it to heal headaches. He would use it to heal people's sicknesses, pneumonia. There's a story of him healing a broken bone in front of everyone that he mended it back together. He was able to tell people what was going to happen. He saw the train come through the Little Bighorn Valley 30 years before it came. So his medicine gave him something good, all because he was willing to sit and sacrifice for four days in these bed of rocks. We don't question the things that God gives us as crow people because we know that we get it through sacrifice. We earned it as he did. So there'll be a moment when we all have to sacrifice and we'll all have to to go without water. For, all, for some of us, it might be different. It might not be water. It might be a car. It might be a house. But there'll be a time when you have to sacrifice. And sometimes the sacrifices are small. Sometimes they're big. But we know that through those sacrifices that it will benefit those around us. Sometimes we don't know that. He didn't know that five generations later that his great, 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 great grandson would be living by the rules that he was received on the mountain Shijihisha in northern Wyoming. So 
The decisions we make follow us everywhere. They affect those around us all the time at every moment of the day. So make good decisions. You don't know who they're going to affect. Thank you. Thank you.